Bitcoin is very clearly showing what that next Bitcoin move is going to be. And I can already tell you it is about to happen anytime soon. And some very important information has just been getting released. So you need to be watching this update video within the coming 24 hours because the FOMC meeting is getting very close. We need to be talking about that. We need to be talking about the Bitcoin miners, which their revenue is dropping significantly. We need to be talking about the stock market earnings which are dropping this week and many more things which are exactly showing what that next bitcoin move is about to be so guys can we once again push up the likes back above the 250 likes that will be absolutely amazing and as always let's have a look into what's the short term and yes in the short term at the first sight it is still not looking all too great because we are still trading inside of this downtrend we are having this resistance level which we are once again getting rejected from on top of that we also have some horizontal resistance where from of this level as well we try to be breaking above but we once again fail to do so so yes these two levels are going to be very important and also later in this video i will be talking about these two levels a little bit more but yes yesterday we have been having a look into what's this falling wedge pattern which indeed has been breaking out towards the upside which honestly we got this huge push towards the upside because of the Hong Kong spot ETF which just went live and trading this night which has basically caused this huge breakout towards the upside now yes the Hong Kong spot ETF is going to be huge and people are pretty much underestimating how big this is going to be for Bitcoin but I'm going to be talking about that exactly a little bit later first of all this Bitcoin falling wedge pattern is exactly right now being retested it is looking very good this is some textbook analysis and and yes indeed, Bitcoin falling wedges are typical bullish bias reversal patterns, which right now is exactly being retested. Now the target is going to be uh, to these previous highs over here. And if we were to be reaching these targets, well in that case of course, we are going to be breaking above these key levels of resistance. So yeah, that is why this falling wedge pattern is going to be huge if we are going to be reaching our targets. But do keep in mind that it is going to be pretty hard to be breaking above these levels of resistance distances also at the same time we are still trading in a downtrend so do be a little bit careful so this could be a very bullish setup in the short term but definitely still do be a little bit careful but where i'm going to be very bullish about is that in the longer term it is looking very good we are still getting supported by this level of support over here and i've been saying for a very long time as long as we're going to be getting supported by this level it still looks very good in the longer term Term. Now, I do actually think that in the longer term, we have already bottomed out over here. Now, I've been screaming about this at this uh, at this time over here, that we are coming very close towards a bottom. Right now is going to be the time to be buying and not to be selling. And I do actually think that in the coming next weeks, we are going to be getting initiated our next move towards the upside. Now, I'm going to be explaining exactly why. Because first of all, we are forming this massive symmetrical triangle, which by the way is going to be poised to be breaking out in the next three days we have actually been seeing kind of boring bitcoin price section with the bitcoin price right now getting squeezed in but in the coming three days we are about to see this massive breakout and to be honest I am going to be leaning more on towards a bullish side. I am going to be expecting this bullish breakout. I'm going to be explaining exactly why. And in the case of a break towards the downside, well, I'm still going to be having a look in towards this support level. And as long as we're going to be holding on towards this level of support, I'm still going to be bullish on Bitcoin. And I still do think that we are going to be getting our next push towards the upside. So let me explain exactly why. First of all, we just got our spot Bitcoin ETF in hong kong and this is going to be a pretty big deal because if we're going to be having a look in towards the bitcoin market well the asian market in terms of users is even bigger than the us and european markets combined now of course this hong kong spot etf just went live now this is of course not for the whole uh, asian market but it is showing that yes we are leading in towards the right direction and the asian market is also preparing themselves right now now yes this is going to be a development which is going to be taking multiple months if not years but definitely for the short term this will already be getting uh, 
be getting reflected in the Bitcoin price. On top of that, we have some more very important information that we need to be talking about and which is exactly showing that yes, Bitcoin is right now actually very close to be bottoming out. But first of all, having a look into what's some more charts. First of all, we can be having a look into what's this huge Bitcoin falling wedge, which we may potentially be forming right now. And in this case, once again, uh, yeah, this is going to be a bullish bias reversal pattern. This one is on a huge time frame, but nonetheless, it is just showing that yes, Bitcoin is right now consolidating, waiting until that next Bitcoin move is going to be getting initiated. Just like on this time frame, we can also be seeing that some kind of a bull flag pattern is right now being created. Also showing that Bitcoin is right now in a bullish consolidation, waiting for that next Bitcoin move to be getting initiated. And at the same time, the Bitcoin funding rates are trading very low. Now, we have been having a look into what's this for many, many times already. Of course, this is going to be very bullish for the Bitcoin price, but there are going to be a few new things which I want to be showing to you in this video. First of all, before going over the new things, we can also still be seeing that majority of the liquidity is still on the top side and Bitcoin tends to go towards where uh, the place where that majority of the liquidity is sitting at right now it's most definitely on the top side and that is still looking very good now let's have a look into what's the interesting stuff because first of all we can be seeing that after the Bitcoin halving the Bitcoin miners revenue is dropping significantly and now the miners actually have two choices first of all they can be capitulating now this is not going to be very likely and we are not seeing many signals that this is about to happen right now but the second second option is going to be that the miners will need to wait for the Bitcoin price to increase in order for, the, uh, for them to sell for a profit. And this is going to be the most likely scenario. And in this case, will the huge selling pressure, which is coming from the miners, will actually get reduced. And because of this, well, naturally, the Bitcoin price will just increase. And this is going to be very bullish for Bitcoin. Now, having a look into what's the stock market and this is going to be very important because we do know that the stock market and the Bitcoin price is heavily correlated, especially in these times right now. We can exactly be seeing that at this top of the stock market, we, uh, we had a little bit of a correction and we can exactly be seeing as well that Bitcoin had the same exact price action. We also had the top at the same exact time and we are also seeing this a bullish consolidation right now. But the interesting thing is that for the stock market, we can first of all be seeing that the retail has been flipping bearish exactly at this bottom over here. We can be seeing in this screenshot over here that the retail sentiment is flipping bearish right now exactly at a little bit of a bottom structure. But the most important thing right now is that this week, the earning reports are going to be getting released, which are looking pretty bullish. At least the expectations are going to be pretty bullish. So in that case, we could see a little bit of a further bounce for the stock market. And in that case, once again, we can be seeing that the Bitcoin price is going to be following that sentiment. Now also, talking a little bit more about the traditional markets, we are about to get our FOMC meeting tomorrow, which is once again also going to be very important for the Bitcoin and also for the stock market price. Now in my opinion, what is going to be very important to have a look in towards, because it is not going to be expected that anything will be happening during this FOMC meeting, probably the interest rates will just remain the same. But what will be very important is to have a look into what's the Fed meeting and to watch what they have to say during this meeting. That is going to be very important. That is going to be the most important thing. And also most definitely during this time of the Fed meeting and also the uh, interest rate hike decision, probably we are going to be seeing some volatility for the Bitcoin price. Now, yes, anyways, it is looking very much like a bottom is going to be nearing for Bitcoin. I am going to be very bullish at these prices. Maybe in the imminent short term, we can still see a little bit of a rejection. But one thing is for sure, a bottom is nearing right now. And I'd rather be bullish over here than to be bearish. That is why I myself am still in this Bitcoin long position and why I am going to be expecting that that next move towards the upside 
is coming rather close. We'll be talking about this exactly a little bit later, but first of all, if you are going to be getting interested in trading your uh, Bitcoin yourself and preparing yourself for that next Bitcoin move, make sure to check out that link down below because you can right now be claiming this 2000 US dollar trade over on Pybit. On top of that, you are going to be eligible for a 40,000 US dollar deposit bonus. So make sure to check out that first link down below and sign up right now on Bybit to claim your free trade and claim your deposit bonus. Now, if Bybit is not going to be available in your country, make sure to check out these other options, Femex and Deepcoin. Now, like I've been saying, I do think that actually this Bitcoin bottom is already in it. This is partially because of this correction that we have already gotten of minus 20%. And in this bull market that standard is sitting at the minus 20 percent we have see already seen many minus 20 percent corrections so that is why i do think that maybe in the short term we can be seeing a little bit of a push back towards the downside but it would not be uh, much lower than this low over here i do not think honestly that we are going to be seeing like a minus 30 percent correction maybe even mi uh, a minus 40 percent correction where many people are, are actually calling for at this moment well i just do not think it is going to be very likely also at the same time if we are going to be having a look into what's the longer term we are getting supported by some massive support right now at this current moment this level is going to be massive in my opinion for bitcoin we have been getting supported over here over here over here getting rejected over here right now breaking back above this level and retesting it right now exactly to the dot so i think for the longer term this level is going to be very important. I think that we are still in these beginning stages of the Bitcoin bull market, and we are about to create our next move towards the upside. We are in this parabolic rally with every single base in this parabolic move becoming shorter and shorter. And right now, we are already 50 days in. So it is just going to be a matter of time. The clock is ticking before we are going to be getting initiated our next lag towards the upside. I think that something like this is going to be next for Bitcoin. So definitely do not miss out right now. Right now is going to be the time to be preparing yourself. Anyways, with that being said, make sure to be following me over on Twitter to stay up to date about every single market development. And guys, I'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning.